Springtime is always the start of a new big project for me, and this spring, I'm embarking on a new personal journey to mill my own logs into lumber. This is a story about that. You see, Grizzly just started manufacturing a new portable sawmill, and knowing that I have a Virginia country lifestyle, friends in the forestry business, and a myriad of homestead projects in the queue, they asked if I would take the new mill through the paces. Of course, I said yes. One challenge of living down a rustic country driveway is not being able to accept freight deliveries, so I have to drive over the mountain to the Shenandoah Valley to pick up shipments at the terminal. My shipment came on two pallets, the first being the mill carriage and two sections of six feet track, the second an extra section of six foot track to be able to mill longer logs for a timber frame project I have coming up. Once I got the shipments home, I started breaking down the crates and added the lift bar per the instructions. Unloading the carriage, I ran into an issue. To ship the mill on the smallest crate possible, the carriage sits inside the two sections of track. That, combined with the height of my trailer and the size of my tractor, I ran out of travel height in my front end loader to be able to lift the carriage high enough to clear the track. Some followers on Instagram suggested I let the air out of my trailer tires to lower it enough, which is a great suggestion, but I opted to ask my farmer neighbor, Forrest, to come down with his big tractor. Once I had the carriage and tracks off the trailer and wildly gesticulated the placement of the mill to forest, I started doing some groundwork. The mill has leveling feet to be able to level the track on uneven ground, and Grizzly suggests putting some boards down for something for the leveling feet to level off of. I basically live on the side of a mountain and knew I was going to have a pretty permanent setup for my mill, so I dug out the side of the hill and used some 6x6s I had reclaimed from another project around the house. This process was pretty painstaking, and I'm really glad I took the time to do it. After I set the tracks in their place, I connected the sections together with the brackets and tighten rods. With the carriage off the trailer, I did have enough travel to lift the carriage and set it on the tracks. This would have been much easier with two people, but I was able to get it done just by myself.
With the mill assembled, I put the blade on and tensioned it. The wheels are 18 and 3 quarter inches, which after talking to some people at Timberwolf Blades is a great size wheel as it doesn't fatigue the metal as much as some other mills with smaller wheels. Then I turn my attention to the engine. The mill comes with a 420cc 13.5 horsepower Briggs and Stratton engine. I added the motor oil that Briggs and Stratton recommends for my climate which just happened to be 10W30. then added gas. Briggs and Stratton says to add fuel stabilizer to regular ethanol gas, but any of my gas tools I like to use non-ethanol gas as a habit to keep the engines clean and it's readily accessible to me. I had some eastern red cedar I was going to cut into some beams for a timber frame structure, so I cut one to length at 14 feet and rolled it up on the mill using a PV and some ramps I made out of 6x6. Six six. I added some water with a little bit of dish soap to the coolant reservoir and fired up the sawmill. Even though this is soft eastern red cedar, a brand new blade, and I have little experience, I have to say I was floored by how easy it is to push the mill through the cut. Taking the time to make sure the track was level probably helped too, but the hardest part of the whole process is just getting the log to the mill and rolling it onto the bed. I have seen some very slick setups involving a winch to load logs onto sawmills, which I might make in the future. The bed can accommodate a 28 inch log diameter with a max width cut of 23 and a half inches, which is a bigger log than I would likely want to handle with my tractor, trailer, and big beefy arms. Matt Cremona might disagree. With the added track, I am sawing logs about 14 and a half feet long. So guys, that is the Grizzly G0901 portable bandsaw mill. Um, I gotta say, I am very excited. Uh, the most time consuming thing so far has been getting the logs onto my trailer and uh, down to the mill and then getting them on the mill. But once they're on the mill, the, the mill is performing just excellently. Uh, the, the carriage travels really well on the tracks. I took the time to get the ground uh, level, to get a uh, good level base for the bed. And uh, taking the time to do that groundwork really paid off. I actually uh, made a newbie Sawyer mistake and I was trying to move uh, a 14 foot log up on the bed and shimmy it up to maximize the, the length of cut. And I actually pushed the whole track off of the blocks that I had just set, the leveling feet off the blocks that I had just set. And I'll show a clip of that uh, after my wrap up here in the blooper reel. But it wasn't that big of a deal because now that I had the, the, the blocks level with the ground, I was just able to shim up um, just a little bit here and there so the bed was actually level from front to back and side to side. And uh, just really, really, just I love being able to make my own posts, my own beams, my own lumber out of logs. So logs to lumber is uh, a super, super enjoyable process. Uh, these logs are getting turned into timbers for a poolside structure that we are calling the Cantina. Uh, this will be uh, a timber framed covered patio, 12 by 20 structure, uh, traditional mortise and tenons, and uh, knee braces, the, the whole nine yard posts and beams, uh, king posts, rafters, everything. Uh, that's going to take me a while. That's a pretty daunting, pretty daunting project, but I'm getting it done and this mill is going to help me do that. Um, if you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. 
Uh, if you want to link to this, I will be offering a discount code and uh, I'll link that in the description below as well. Uh, just very excited. I'm glad that you guys are here to follow along. And uh, until next time, guys, I'm Will Walker. This is the William Walker Company Project Channel. I'll see you guys real soon.